Hey and welcome back to another Dark Fall tutorial. So today we're going to be doing the posterizing effect and that's going to be done in the node editor. So once you've created this effect, maybe you want to save the, save the nodes into a different folder. In the past we've mentioned how to optimize your uh, folder by creating libraries full of shaders and assets. Now if I just open up a folder called PBR Blend, this is just a save file with all different kinds of shaders and and this helps when I create a new file and then I go to append, I can just bring in these shaders. So just to show you what I mean, if I shift A, go down to group, I have a whole bunch of different materials or different shaders that I created. Um, as you can see, we've got a diamond one. Then we just plug this in. So we can see it's a diamond shader and these can be changed you know, as we need to. So this is a node that I created and you can do this too, depending on what kind of node or effects that you wanna create. So what you should do is go ahead and go to file, open up your folder that you've saved all these to. Then I'm going to go to the scene tab because this is where the effect is going to be made. Check use nodes and also backdrop. We can get rid of this render layer, we're not going to use it. So what we can do if we select this node here, we press shift S and then change this to a movie clip. Now this will only work if you've got the node wrangler add-on enabled. If you didn't watch the previous tutorial where we went through all the different uh, functions of the node wrangler add-on, go ahead and check that out. But I'm also going to add a viewer node by control shift left click. Just press G just to bring this down. Go ahead and open up the movie clip. So we're going to apply the effect to this video, but like I said, you can use these. Once we've created these nodes, we're going to save this folder so we can use this in future projects. And it's pretty simple to do. We're going to use a math node. Well, we're going to use four math nodes and then maybe a mix node just to add the color back in. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Shift A, go to converter, add the first math node. And if we drop this onto the bottom string, and then control shift left click, we can see what it does. So the first thing we need to do is change the type. Uh, it's, we don't need add, what we need is multiply. Then we wanna change this to a value of six. And then if we press shift D to duplicate it and just drop it here for now. Then we press backspace, we can delete this or reset this to the uh, default node and then drop it in. And then for this one, we're gonna need subtract. And then for this value, we can leave at 0.5. That's a good value for now. Again, same thing, Shift D. You can drop it in here, plug it in, and then we need to reset this node, so backspace. And then we wanna change this to round. And then the value we wanna keep, uh, well, we wanna change to zero. And then the last one, Shift D. This one is gonna be divide. And then we want to divide this by five. And then you've got the posterized effect. <laughs> um, again, these values will be changed or can be changed uh, later on. We just want to add some color into it next. Uh, by the way, this setup here is um, posted on the Mando manual. So you can go ahead and check this out. Shift A, go to color, then mix. And I'm just going to drop this on the end. Plug this in. And then I'm going to plug this in here, but instead instead of dropping it into the open slot, I'm going to plug it into the top one, just so it looks like this. If we didn't, it would look like this. So make sure you drop this one on the top one. And then you can go ahead and play around with the blending modes. Different blending modes will give you different effects. Um, if we play around with it, I'm going to say add maybe. That's quite a basic and bright one. But if you change it to maybe overlay, let's check that. It's darker, looks pretty good. Uh, dodge might be a good one, it's a bit brighter. But again, playing around with these blend modes or finding one that um, works for you, for your example or for your situation and will definitely help. But again, as I mentioned before, we can now um, play around with these values. You just wanna change these three values here and then that will um, give a different kind of look or a different effect. So if we start with this one, we just make sure we don't clamp. <laughs> and if we hold shift as I drag this value, we can just do it in small increments. And you see how it sort of gets brighter here and fades away. So it kind of changes the overall look. So play around with these until you get something that looks good. And there you've got your posterize effect. So now we've wanted to save these. Let's just change these back to default. Let's change this back to six. 0.5 and five. So these are going to be my default values. Every time I uh, bring this node into a new project, they're going to have these values and then I can go ahead and change them when I want to. I'm also going to change this to maybe 
overlay for now. So let's go ahead and create the new node. So make sure we don't have anything selected. So press A to deselect. Then if we press B, we can uh, bring this box select tool. And then if we left click and drag, we just wanna select these five nodes here. So now if we press control and then press G, we've created uh, a new node group. If you can see, we're kind of in a new window. <laughs> if this is the first time that you've created a new node or a mega node or whatever you want to call them, then it might be a little bit confusing. We have, we have done a tutorial in the past using these or creating nodes. So maybe you want to go and check that out if this is a bit too advanced. But, um, but let's just see what's happening now. We've got this input node, which has two strings coming off it. And then we have the output node. And then we have those four nodes that we had before. So if we press tab, we can go back out. And this is what is created. So it's just this new node and it's the five nodes within this one. But you can see there's no options to change, which we want some values and things to play around with. So let's do that. Also, you can see that this string here is being used twice and we don't really need it. We only need to use it once. So we'll fix that as well. So press tab to go back into it. And as you can see, we have these two strings here. One's going straight to the multiply and one's going to the mix node. So instead of that, what we can do is just drag this out and plug it in here. And then let's see how this one just got dropped to the bottom. Make sure we disconnect that one. So now this isn't being used. We press N to bring up this sidebar here. Maybe you need to stretch it out a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, what we can do, if we scroll up, we have the inputs, which is these two here. So we don't need this value. Let's select it and go over to it and delete it. Now we have this, which is good. Now we want to expose the values. We want to bring these values here and plug them into this input so we can actually use them on the outside. <laughs> so it's very easy to do. I'm going to start with this one because this is kind of a major one to start with, in my opinion. Plug this one here. Just drag this one out. Same. Uh, we don't need to do for the round. We want to keep that as zero, so we don't need to play with that. And then we just bring this one as well. So now we have them three values. We can name them if we want, so just select it and then just name them. But um, there's not really, I'm not sure what to call them. We could say maybe uh, base and then this one can be middle and this can be top. I don't know, maybe you can think of better names to name them, but you get the idea. So every time we select these, we can see what the default value is. We can also maybe set a minimum and maximum if we need to. Um, but yeah, you can play around with these, give this a color, uh, change them and add new ones, whatever you want to do. Uh, the next thing I maybe want to do is bring this factor, plug this into the bottom, and again, let's it's already named factor so we know what it does. And that's pretty good. We can leave that as it is. So we press tab to go back out. Now we have this one node that does the effect for us. And again, if you um, split the RGBA, you could then drop this on to them. So let's let's do that now. Shift A, go to converter. Um, so yeah, this is officially the best way to do it or the proper way to do it, but I mean you can do it any way you want Let's just separate these and then converter combine As I said before we just need to join these up And we don't need to worry about the alpha so if we select both of these and then we press Control H So now what we could do is essentially copy this node shift D and then drop them onto each one of these. But we do need to change this before we do that since this is kind of like the hack, the workaround. We added the color node to add the color. So what I need to do is go ahead and so tap back into this and we want to get rid of this uh, overlay node here. So just control X, delete it and plug this here. So now we have this, which is the same thing just without the, the factor. This factor value now is useless, so we can actually delete that as well. But you'll notice once we've changed it on this node, we've actually changed it on this node too. And if we look, we can see that it's got a number two, meaning that two nodes are using the same uh, the same exact setting. Same thing with the shader. We always see that sort of number two to indicate how many items are using the same thing. So, so what we should have done is just press number two like that and just change the name of this. In fact, we didn't change the name on the first one. So we select this one here, just name this Posterize, see, and this one, Posterize 2. This node here, 
we got rid of the uh, the multiply node or the mix node. Let's just go back. I'm just going to go back in this one and add it. So color mix, plug this in. Switch these around. Plug this into the factor, and then overlay. Okay, so now we have this one and this one. Which now we have two. The only difference is this one here doesn't have that mix node because the mix node adds the color as I mentioned. So now we can just drop this onto each one of these. Shift D, Shift D. And we get that kind of posterize effect. You would need to play around with each one of these values for the different uh, color channels just to get the correct or the, the more realistic kind of posterize look. But I mean, I prefer to use this method with the, so it's the same thing with the four math nodes, except you also have uh, the mix node to add the color. So, you know, it's entirely up to you um, which one you use for each one that you use it doesn't make a difference but you can change the colors and add colors so go to color let's go to hue saturation value drop this in here and see if this is too uh, saturated we can desaturate it maybe increase the value you know and kind of make it look uh, a lot better as i said i prefer to use this first posterize here where i've just added everything and also have the um the color as well so it's entirely up to you how you want to do that and let's change this blend mode. It's not bad. The easiest way to find which kind of blend mode that you like is just press, just hold Alt and then press down arrow on your keyboard. I also make sure the node is selected, but you can cycle through the blend modes and find something that kind of works for you. I'm gonna leave it at overlay and then play around with these values. If I hold shift, left click and drag, we can do it in small amounts. As you can see, sort of the effect goes into extremes or darkens down. So, so try and find a good balance on the sort of posterizing effect that you want. But it's a very quick and easy way to uh, posterize your videos, I guess. But if you want to go ahead and render that out now, um, you could go ahead and do that. Change this to the video file. Make sure you change the encoding. You want to choose the presets H.264 in MP4 format. Also, make sure you change the output. So choose somewhere where you want to save this video to and go ahead and hit animation. But if you want to save these nodes, let's go ahead and delete this. We don't need this. Get rid of these. So as I mentioned, I'm already in that library folder or that um, file where I saved all my assets to. So all I need to do now is press Control S and save this project file. When I open up a, a new project, go to the node editor, do this very quickly, just so you can see. So now all we need to do is go to file, then append, and then you just need to navigate to where you've saved your um, project folder, so that library of assets. I called it PBR because at the time I created a PBR shader and that was the only one I created and I just added to it. So I could really rename this to maybe library of assets or, or something that's more appropriate. So now we've opened up the folder, we can see this here. You can choose from the materials, so any shaders that you've created, as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of shaders. Or we can go to the node tree and just select one of these nodes. So now when we shift A and we go down to group, now we have the posterized two. Let's just drop this in here. And let's just see if it's the correct one. Yeah, we do have the overlay. So you can do that with any node or any shader or, and then we can play around with these values and make it look a lot better. Once you've created your nodes and then saving them and then bringing them into different projects is such a big help uh, saving you time then rather than creating the same nodes over and over again just save them once and then just bring them into future projects so hopefully this quick video helped um, if it did be sure to give it a like and as always thanks for watching and uh, see you next time